Hey and welcome to this video, my name is Johannes and in this video I'm going to show you how to add Arbitrum network to Metamask and bridge Ethereum. And I will leave a link below in the description to this page which is very useful if you want to add the Arbitrum 1 network. But I will of course also show you step by step how to add it right here in this video. So uh, there are a couple of ways to add the Arbitrum network. Either you can just enter these details inside custom RPC in Metamask. Uh, you can do this just by clicking on Ethereum network, you will see networks and then scroll down to custom RPC. And then you will just add all the information that you can see here in the right fields. But the easiest way is to go to Arbitrum bridge which is bridge.arbitrum.io. I will leave a link to this as well. And then you can see Arbitrum token bridge connected to mainnet. And then you can just click add slash switch to Arbitrum network. So I'll click there. And then you will get a MetaMask notification, allow this site to add a network. And then you can see the network name, network URL, chain ID. So I will just click on approve. And uh, I won't actually switch the network right now. So now I will show you what it looks like inside the MetaMask uh, extension right here. And I will go to Ethereum, I will click on Ethereum mainnet and you will be able to see ARB1 right here. So I'm actually switching to it right now. And you can see I have zero ETH. So right now I will show you how to bridge your ETH to the Arbitrum uh, network. So uh, I will go back to the Ethereum mainnet again. And obviously if you want to bridge Ethereum from the Ethereum mainnet to Arbitrum, you will have to be on the Ethereum mainnet first. You can see ETH and ERC20. You can see ETH on L1, 0 0.008 approximately. I don't have enough Ethereum to actually bridge over to pay for the gas fees. I will show you, however, how much it is right now to pay for, for the gas fees to bridge over. It should be approximately $23, $20. So um, all you will have to do is to type in an amount right here to deposit your ETH. You will click on deposit you will have to confirm your transaction inside MetaMask and pay the gas fee. And then you will get ETH to the Arbitrum network. The deposit or transaction to Arbitrum network should take approximately 10 minutes, they say, but it depends on congestion and how many are using the network and stuff like that. And once you've waited long enough, you can just go to your Arbitrum network and switch to the Arbitrum network and you will be able to see your ETH on ARB1 and, um, and yeah that's basically how you bridge your ETH from layer 1 to layer 2. And then you're free to do whatever you want on layer 2. I'm not exactly sure uh, what the gas fees etc are on layer 2 right now but I will create another tutorial on how to use dApps and and stuff like that on uh, on the Arbitrum network and then I will show you what it looks like right there but that will be in another video so hopefully you found value in this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more cryptocurrency tutorials else thank you for watching have a nice day and goodbye